Welcome to another travel edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Where are we, Karen? They've got another name for chickpeas once again. As I keep saying, I know this is stupid, but it's so funny to me when I go to these foreign countries, they have a different word for everything. Right? I mean, it's, it's fascinating when you think about it because we took a boat over from Italy where they call chickpeas or garbanzo beans chichis. And here it's Quashish. Well, what's so funny, guys, I'd like to have a comments down below, but maybe it's my own problem, but it's like, I'm using English, I'm using Spanish, I'm using Italian, but this guy in French is looking at me like I have two heads, like I have no freaking idea what I'm saying. Oh, because... Maybe that's how he speaks, or is his that... His words are different. I, mean, I know, that's but... That's the way we're trained, but, is words are our communication. I guess, I guess so. But anyway, we are at this fantastic little... Um, gem called Crudo. It's on this hill. People have a real hard time coming up and down this hill. Right. So, one thing about this gem most people stop right at the dock because A, there's so many restaurants along the dock. And and incredible, B, by the way, right? Beautiful. And B, who doesn't like to sit along the dock? But in order to get just a little bit more of the local culture, you have to get off the beaten path just slightly. And this is up uh, the alleyway, which as Jeffrey pointed out, it's not a stairway. It's basically a walkway. Um, you can see it. That is just made out of uh, stone and brick. And this is like a Corsica, so an old pirate hangout. I think I've read from my pirate books. But this is like... Like, you know, the water's down there. If you can see the water down between those buildings, it's like, this is, you're in the mountains. It's like incredible, but it's an island off of France. Right. This is a good pirate hangout. I mean, this is, if I was a pirate, I would hang out here and drink rum all night, and I would sail my boat and pillage during the day, and that's what they did. Kind of sounds like what you do anyway. <laughs> but I want to give a shout out to this restaurant, which we found on Happy Cow. Um, actually, we didn't. We found the restaurant about five doors down on Happy Cow and they were closed. So we continued to walk and this very lovely gal walked outside and we asked if she had anything vegan and she said they had poke bowls. And again, a poke bowl in the States might refer to tuna, but here it is just the bowl itself and what goes into it is what you choose. So you can choose to um, have all vegan ingredients. So Jeffrey and I had edamame and um, poishish, which are chickpeas, and or corn. Or garbanzo beans. Yeah, corn. Um, I don't know how to say corn in French, do you? Maize. I'm gonna say maize. Um, you, you gonna go with maize? Let's see yeah. it real quickly. Corn, search, uh, maize. There you go. There you go, maize. Maize. Um, and what else? Oh, and mushrooms. I'm not sure. I know in Italian it's it lungas. Um, and in English it's mushrooms. I, I Fun, don't. Is it fungili in Fun, Italian? Lungas is uh, I'm sorry. Sp Spanish. And yes, okay, fungi in Italian. So, um, don't know. Let's just real quickly while we're... I just want to go to my own little island and buy my own <laughs> food and call it whatever I want. Because... Right? You know what? I'm going to start speaking pig Latin because I know how to speak that so well. Yeah. And, ashrams um, may. Ashrams may. Mushrooms. Let's see. Ashrams may. Ah. Champignons. Champignons. See, it's no wonder I love mushrooms so much. It's so elegant in, fr in France. Champignon. Yeah. I love that. Right. Anyway, this was a great find. Um, we had a red wine, we had a white wine, and we each had our delicious vegan uh, poke bowls. I highly recommend this little hidden gem. In, um, I'm gonna we're going to put the little the skin of Roma. Yeah. Thank you so much, Happy Cow. Oh, wait, you're not on Happy Cow. Guess what? You will be now. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and I'll just love.